Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Knowing how to make an entrance! Welcome back to more Pokemon White version! Last time, we explored quite a few of the side activities that you can do around the region now that we can see every single thing that they had to offer. Pokemon musicals, birthdays, rich imperial villas, abandoned mad scientist lairs. This time, we are back in Castelia. Swore I'd never pronounce it again that way, but... I guess I had a goldfish memory that day because I was saying we're back here and then very next video said, hey, we never have to come back here. I don't know what I was thinking that day, but I'm certainly not thinking that now. I didn't forget. In the Game Freak headquarters building, there are two things that we have not seen. Well, we technically have seen both of them, but you know what I mean. There is completing the national decks, something that we will not be doing. If you could complete the National Dex, aside from Mythical Pokemon, you would get another upgrade to your trainer card. This is a trainer card upgrade I am not going out for out of just simply not being able to do it within a reasonable amount of time. And I grinded out the musicals. I hope you know that I have a very loose concept of reasonable amount of time because I grind out way more than I need to. Just because these trainer card upgrades are shiny. That one's not shiny enough for me to go out for it, however. What we are doing here, actually is, you know what, do I really want to lead with rock for this? Do I want to lead with rock? No, I don't. I want to lead with Hilbert, I think. I think he'd be pretty nice. Yeah, that's what I think. I think Hilbert. Oh, you become strong. I can tell. Do you want to have a battle with me? Well, let's begin. This is Shigeki Morimoto, a developer who has been with Pokemon since the very beginning. We're actually getting to fight against a staff member. Something that I kind of wish they started doing a little bit sooner, but hey, here it is. I'm sure you've heard the tales of the legendary game developer who added Mew into Pokemon Red and Green after development had wrapped up just before they shipped the game. Yeah, that's this guy. He's going to start off the battle with Lyperd, level 75, Dark type, with Limber for its ability. It has the moves Fake Out, Grass Knot, Night Slash, and Sucker Punch. I thought Hilbert was pretty much the exact perfect answer to this, as it'll get hurt from doing Fake Out. Its other moves are either physical or they are not type effective, so I don't think we really have much of anything to worry about. We're just gonna stockpile, stockpile, stockpile. He can't hurt us with Sucker Punch during that process. He's gonna have to make contact or hit us with a night type effective move if he wants to clock any damage on us whatsoever. Nope, not today. Now, despite his very steep levels, these are the same levels that Cynthia was when we were fighting against her. I just, oh, Grass Knot does make contact despite it being a special move. Huh, learned something new. I thought it was just summoning a Grass Knot out of the ground. I didn't think it was actually part of its body that had nerves inside of it. Sorry, I just think with logic sometimes. Uh, oh no, 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 oh, that was How dare you avoid toxic? That's a slap in the face. Uh. What was I actually saying there? I got very sidetracked because that was really mean. Let's use a max potion for once. Even though it wouldn't really be helpful over a hyper potion. Okay. I can live with you doing Grass Knot. I'm wanting to do Toxic, so in case it does Sucker Punch, I can just beat it that way. He does carry items. He is really tough. That's what I was trying to say. He's really tough, yes. He might be the same level as Cynthia, but his team is honestly not really all that good. Out of all of the tough trainers that we can battle at this point in time, I think that he is actually the easiest, even if his levels would not have you thinking that right away. We're gonna heal up again. And he goes for the full- <sighs> Why did it have to be a full restore? Okay. Let's go and do Toxic again. Please do not avoid. Thank you. Hilbert, you will be your own Toxic Avenger. Just do Sludge Bomb at this point. Yeah, I don't really care if it suckers punches us now. We're as buffed up on our defenses as we can get. It's poison. It's badly poisoned. Uh. Damn, I knew Lightbird was bad defensively, but sheesh. I... Had I known it would be hitting for that much, I probably wouldn't have been doing so many trickety-trick ways of fighting, and I probably would have just gone straight for the throat. <laughs> okay. I think I know what's coming out next. Swoobat is level 75, Psychic Flying type, unaware for its ability with the moves Air Slash, Endeavor, Psychic, and Psyshock. 
I'm pretty sure I know what you're going to do, but I've buffed my defenses so many gosh darn tootin times, I think I can stay out at least one turn against you. Or at least two turns against you. Maybe even three turns against you if you don't crit or get the special defense drop. Give me that badly poisoned. We'll go for a sludge bomb. I didn't pay attention to exactly how much I did. I have 114. You're hitting for 60. It's not great, unfortunately. Uh, I was hoping that I would just barely hang on and that I could do the explosion against you to sacrifice you, though. But now I'm going to heal a third time. I don't want to get too happy with the heals. I think this will probably be the last time that I do, but such is the case when you're fighting using a tanky Pokemon. Psyche! Ill bird, proving yourself as the hero, man. Good. You are really tanking these hits very well. There's no tank in that, unfortunately. And if I'm not mistaken, that's gonna get you up to, yep, level 70, second strongest member of the team. Next up is Zipstrika, which is actually his strongest Pokemon at level 77, electric type lightning rod for its ability, with the moves Pursuit, Giga Impact, Flame Charge, and Wild Charge. All those are physical contact moves. Let's see if we can start, oh! How is that for an explosion? You're gonna have to wipe that garbage off of your face. <laughs> that was cool. And I'm sending out Ottawa as an additional slap in the face, not just sending out a garbage bomb against it. I'm also going to beat it with a water type because I got a priority move. Bye-bye. Critical hit even, wow. That is the slappiest slap that ever slapped anything in the face. Jeez. Simi Sage is level 75 grass type, gluttony for its ability, holding a Pataya Berry, not a typical hold item that you see, one of the rarer ones, and it has the moves Energy Ball, Crunch, Payback, and Acrobatics. I didn't think you'd be going first. Ooh. On one hand, it kind of stinks that what I called the easiest fight is giving me this much trouble, but oh, uh, there's that Pataya Berry. It's special attack is up, but that's okay. We can Aqua Jet it. Yes! If you would be so kind to send out the thing that I really want you to send out in this particular situation, Simi- Aw, oh, no, Simi Poor. Simi Poor is level 75 water type, gluttony for its ability, also holding a Bataya Berry with Surf, Crunch, Payback, and Acrobatics. It is the same Pokemon, just with its first move matching its type. Now, the question is. Uh, I did not speed Simi Sage, but. Eh, you know what? Let's go for it. Bye, Ottawa. Send out Haywire. I just didn't think that Haywire would take too well to a switch in. I didn't think that I really wanted to switch into anyone else. Uh, Krogonal wouldn't really be good without having physical moves, and I wouldn't really have any way of knowing what it was going to try. Wild Charge! Man, this could. Oh no. 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 Please survive this, because I want the, also the slap in the face of beating him with his own mascot. No! I. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Terabyte, you're actually in need of experience right now, which I can't believe I am saying, but I guess we've kind of been putting you in the PC an awful lot. Let's crunch that thing. No! That's potentially awkward. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dear Awooga Cry, and please hit like the truck that I know you are and do acrobatics, please. Thank you for being faster than it. At least someone on this team is. His last Pokemon, I can't believe it, is Simiseer, his last resort. Level 75, fire type, gluttony for its ability, and it's the same move set again, just with flamethrower in place of the type move. Rock slide! It's a good thing that hit, otherwise I'd be in serious deep doo-doo. 
you know, because Simi Seer looks like it has poo on its head. Yeah. After all, I'm the strongest and greatest. Just kidding. You think about battles very thoroughly. I lost, but I learned a lot from you. Besides, it was fun. Come back again tomorrow. He will battle you again every day, which uh, makes me reiterate what was even the point of Black City when you have Big Stadium, Small Court, The Riches, Cynthia, Morimoto, and... What's the other daily battle thing I'm forgetting? I'm sure... Oh, the Battle House in Opelucid. There's so many daily refreshing trainers, not even counting the Pokemon League of Elite Four, that I don't know why they thought they needed to include a whole area dedicated to grinding and thought that that was the equal of having so many version exclusive Pokemon. Gosh, it's like even when I stop hating on Black City, I just can't really stop. It really does things to people. Well, the very next place that I want to go is Mistralton City. I didn't feel like I, ooh, the hail sound effect. Happy we get to hear that one more final time. Just love it, it sounds so, it sounds like tapping on plastic or something like that. It's just so nice. Um, I didn't think I really needed much help in beating Morimoto, but for the fights ahead, I think we're going to need all the help we can get. The time has come to retool our movesets a little bit. First up is Ottawa. You've been a resident HM user for quite a long time, and I think it's time that we say goodbye to Surf. It kinda stinks because you have two perfect IVs in attack and special attack, so one of those is kinda going to waste by doing this, but what I wanna do instead is put the gifts of the Seven Sages to good use and teach Ottawa Swords Dance. Swords Dance combined with Aqua Jet, that's a dangerous combination, and I totally want that on there. Almost all of our opponents from here on out are going to be higher leveled than us, whether we like it or not. Sheer Cold is not going to be useful. Flash Cannon is coming back. I may wish, I might wish so hard that Cryogonal could learn Energy Ball. It learns Solar Beam. I don't get why it doesn't learn that. It's dumb. I gave a lot of thought to Hilbert in particular. It has some rather strange options available to it, where it learns pretty much every good special move under the sun, but almost no good physical moves. Yet it also has Gunk Shot, which is a very strong physical poison type move that would get same type attack bonus. After thinking about it more and more, honestly, the decision that I came to is that I want to replace Explosion with Psychic. It would give it something type effective that it could do against the fighting type, while it's walling them, I think that would be a lot nicer than just pelting them a sludge bomb and also potentially setting off guts on quite a few fighting type Pokemon. Not to mention, I'm happy that we've gotten to use Explosion. After all, that's proven that Hilbert is disposable! Adding to the hilarity of trash can humor, I just want to remind you that Hilbert can learn Recycle. Again, Crocodile's Outrage is interesting on the surface, but he's not a dragon type himself, and it's so situational because it's only effective against dragon types. I don't see any reason why I would want to disrupt the harmony that its type coverage currently has. As much as I love my fire-breathing snowflake in concept, it's not very practical or useful, and I've gotten to use it a couple times already. I think replacing that hidden power fire, I'm gonna go for Ice Shard. It is physical. And yes, Cryogonal's physical attack's not very good, but you never know. Perhaps in situations fighting things that are higher level than it, this might save our lives. We only have one other priority move and it's on Ottawa. Don't care about Thrash on Zipstrika, even though it seems like every trainer in the land with a Zipstrika that we fought loves that move, even though we just fought one and he didn't have it on there, so I guess that's proof that all the bad trainers in the land have Thrash on their Zipstrika, so there you go, there's my reasoning. The last move that I gave a lot of thought to was Terabyte having either Rock Slide or Stone Edge. I just don't want to go for that. I like having Aerial Ace on it because it counters its types really nicely. That is its weakest move that I would naturally get rid of if I were to get rid of anything, but no, I like its type coverage just the way it is. We have Rock type moves on Rock and I think we're pretty good there. Gave the Never Tell Mice back to Hex. We don't have a single flying gem to give rock. That really hurts me to say. Ooh, uh, hail sound effects. 
This world knows how to cheer me up and make me happy to live in it. Our team is all powered up. Opelucid City is the next place to be. We're going to be going to Victory Road through Route 10. No, not just to hear the music again, but mostly, yes. There is the final new wild Pokemon that we have yet to have the capability to encounter on Route 10. Some Pokemon have all the luck in being able to live in a place with music this good. Tyro is your swarm encounter for Route 10. It evolves at level 20, and its evolution is decided by what its stats are. Its moves are incredibly limited as Tyrogue, since its three evolutions all have radically different playstyles, and they don't want to give you all of those moves up front. Hitmonlee is the fastest and most attack-oriented, and as you would expect, it uses some fancy footwork moves. One thing that's immediately interesting is that Hitmonlee learns Blaze Kick naturally. Without TMs, not only does it get that, but a bunch of great fighting-type moves. Hitmonchan is a bit slower and more defensive, and has that awesome Iron Fist ability to increase the power of what it's known for doing best. Wearing dresses, right? No. Uh, yes, it gets the elemental punches and focus punch. What more could you want? Hitmon Top is balanced, because otherwise it would fall over. Durr. It learns a lot of fighting moves, some punching moves, and some kicking moves. It's pretty expected as a hybrid between the two should be. Hitmontop has the distinction of learning counter without needing to breed, learning rapid spin to get rid of entry hazards like Stealth Rock, and has the signature move of Triple Kick, which works mildly interestingly. It's a three hit move that has 90% accuracy and 10 power, but the power increases by 10 for each successive hit that turn, for a total of effectively 60 power. It does get the boost from Technician, which makes that a little bit nicer as every single hit is buffed by it. However, I would greatly prefer to just go with Intimidate and give it close combat. I do love this family a lot. It's one of my all-time favorites, in fact, but it just comes in so late, I'm not sure that I would even raise a baby Pokemon for any purpose now. Sorry if things have been a little bit disjointed with the bios as of the post-game. It's just that the post-game has more obtainable new Pokemon in it than the main Unova decks. You can explore these locations in any order. That order has changed a few times and how I wanted to do things, and it's a lot to keep track of. So I do apologize if things have been a little bit disjointed at times. I do appreciate you telling me whenever I've skipped over a bio. Hopefully I haven't skipped over any. If we have, it will be rectified at a later time. For right now, we're climbing up Victory Road. It's nice that the last time we were here, we pushed in all those strength boulders in the end because that's going to be helpful to us in climbing back up. You can fly directly to Victory Road. You don't need to climb up it. I'm just doing it because, well, I kind of needed something to do while we were talking about Tyrogue, and I liked hearing the music. Up by the room where Terrakian was battled. There he is. Let's go for it. Flying gem! Ice gem. It was worth a try. I can tell you're tapping your foot impatiently, because I know you that well. Blair, it's difficult, isn't it? When you confront yourself, you have to notice things about yourself that aren't too flattering. Of course, and no one can get away from themselves. Marshall? My mentor told me you were here, so I came to see. Listen. Even if you lose in battle, if you surpass what you've done before, you've invested yourself. Take the opportunity of a battle to look at your opponent, look at the Pokemon involved, and look at yourself. Are those Alder's words? Maybe, but I'm borrowing them. What I want are battles with trainers who believe in themselves like that. When I mix it up with a trainer like that, both my Pokemon and I get even stronger. Well then, I'll be waiting for your challenge in the Pokemon League. I guess that's that. Okay, Blair, accept this Pokemon battle! For the final time! After all this way, we are battling Charon. What have you got cooked up for us after all the training you've done up here on Victor Road? A Leopard! 
Everyone just loves opening with that one today. Level 65, Dark Type, unburdened for its ability, so it's a little bit different. Holding a Citrus Berry with the moves Fake Out, Aerial Ace, Shadow Claw, and Night Slash. Luckily for me, you have to hit me with at least some modicum of physicality if you want to do any damage to me. Yeah, you're just gonna hurt yourself with that. I know all my strengths and weaknesses now. Soon, I will know yours too. I'm just gonna stockpile, stockpile, stockpile here. Maybe not all three times, really. I don't think I really need to. And besides, I'm sure you're gonna send out something to counter me because that's how all trainer battles work, especially when they got a full team of six like he's got now. Look at you. Learn it from my example, not using three Pokemon to try to beat a team of six anymore. He means business now. We know that a Sludge Bomb is going to do a lot to a Lipert from our experience just now. Hey, Hilbert! Uh, maybe not. He's going to full restore, isn't he? Well, at least we get it out of the way. No, you don't have full restores. Okay, I said Sharon learned from my example, not from all of my examples. Just one. Gigalith is level 65, rock type, sturdy for its ability, holding the leftovers with Giga Impact, Stone Edge, Earthquake, and Stealth Rock. Now the thing is, I know he sent that out to counter me because he's got Earthquake, but I don't know if he's gonna use Earthquake is the thing. I'm low on health. He could really do just about anything. I don't especially like what would happen if I were to call him incorrectly on any of my Pokemon, cause you're countered by Earthquake, you're countered by Stone Edge, you're countered by Stone Edge. You guys, I guess, maybe could take a hit. Like, I'm kind of thinking I just want to sack Hilbert and go for the free freebie here right here, because you're probably faster than it. If I can just do a little bit of chip damage to it and uh, get rid of that sturdy so something else can one-shot it, I think that's the smartest move right here. Give me that. I was correct. It's a good thing I didn't switch out to um, to rock. It would have been good for terabyte, but again, had no way of knowing, of course. I don't know why I'm justifying it like that. Leftovers, not really the item that I would have chosen for Gigalith, though, but it is continuing Sharon's trend set up all the way back in um, Striaton City, where he learned the importance of held items, and he is still using that knowledge with him now. It is his main gimmick. Earthquake! I know you have a butt-ton of defense, but I think it'll see us through. Yeah, we're fine. Give me that Moxie. Superior. This will be whatever Charon starter Pokemon is at level 67. This one is grass type with overgrow for its ability, holding a focus sash. Cannot be knocked out in one hit. Basically sturdy in the form of a hold item. It has the moves Coil, Dragon Tail, Leaf Blade, and Leaf Storm. This thing's pretty mean. Pretty nasty. I don't know if this will be okay. I'm going to do a little bit of damage calc. 60 versus 80 with same type attack, so it's the same power roughly. Um, I guess just because, I guess on the grounds that the super effective text is more satisfying to see, we'll go for that. You're faster than me. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. I. This is exactly the way it went last time. I sacked Hilbert early in the fight. He sends out Superior. He does coil a whole bunch, and then I can't do anything against him. Come on, please survive this. Please survive. That's not a physical attack. He didn't buff that. Oh! Sorry for the howling mating call of the Arizonan, but there it is. I don't know how you, okay. Wow, Terabyte, you're bailing us out of trouble yet again. Simipor, level 65, water type, gluttony for its ability, holding a mystic water with the moves Surf, Rock Slide, Brick Break, and Payback. I'm just gonna go for it and hope I'm faster. I am not. I'm learning Simipore is faster than I think it is, even at a higher level than it, yeah. And uh, by the way, this again will be Charon's elemental monkey. It can be any of the three, depending on what his starter Pokemon is. Haywire! I know that you're good at dealing with Simipore from other battle experience. These trainers just love using all the same Pokemon over and over again. No wonder I'm able to sweep through all of you. I know how to fight all of you just by fighting one of you. Wild Charge ought to do it. And there that goes. You only got two Pokemon left. And there it is. Haxorus is a new addition to his team. Level 65, Dragon type, rivalry for its ability. Does more damage against Pokemon of the same gender. Holding a Dragon Gem with the moves Outrage, X Scissor, Rock Slide, and Surf. This thing is mean and nasty and repugnant. 
with that Dragon Jam. This can sweep through your entire team if you are not careful. I paralyzed it first and foremost because I didn't want that outrage getting a crit on whatever I was counting on to stop it. Hex, you haven't done any fighting today. Let's see if you can do a good job against it. Ice Beam it is. It's a little bit funny that he has Surf in the moveset. It's not really what you'd expect, but gives it a little bit of diversity, I suppose. If you think you can shut it down by just burning it, that's not going to be the case. Last Pokemon, Unpheasant. It's not over yet. My Pokemon are with me. It is level 65, normal flying type, super luck for its ability, holding a scope lens. Very good ability, hell item combo. Has the moves U-turn, quick attack, air slash, facade. But now it's gone. Thank you. I saw what was missing in me. Ew. I'll keep battling many trainers and Pokemon like this, and if I can learn what kind of person I am, it will open up my path. I'm sure this path will lead me to become the person I'm meant to be. Pokemon will always be with you and me as we go down our own paths. Our important friends, Pokemon. That's the last time we gotta put Sharon in his place. You know, I gotta say, I didn't think he was gonna develop much as a character, but he did. He got through that entire encounter without saying the word bother once. We've made it up to Pokemon League, but we're not here for a challenge. No. Our only goal here outright was to fight Sharon. Instead, we're going back to Miss Stralton City. <laughs> Almost poetic how that's coming around. And yay, I get to hear the hail sound effect again! In all of our repeat travel wandering Unova, we never went back to the Celestial Tower. And that's the last place I want to visit today. We... what? I guess Charon wasn't our final battle today! <laughs> I I remember now, I wanted to hear the music and I wanted to show you the music. <laughs> and I skipped over this guy, Bryce. How unfortunate for you that you didn't have just one extra N in your name. Otherwise, you would be significantly more powerful than you currently are. Hilbert, Sludge Bomb. <laughs> I feel like almost bad for this guy how I just walked in with a level 70 bag of trash that he's type effective on and just kicked his ass with it. We're climbing all the way to the top of the tower. As waiting for us up top. My old partner is resting here in the Celestial Tower. It was the first Pokemon I received when I became a trainer. I come here to ring the bell and comfort its spirit. It was a strong Pokemon. It was courageous, noble, and kind. Together we madly pursued strength without even knowing the meaning of strength. But in the same way that all stories have a beginning and an end, all lives have to end as well. It was then that I understood that strength isn't something that remains unchanged forever. However, the joy one feels in being with Pokemon, that is the real thing. In order to spread the word, I left the Pokemon League and kept traveling. That's right, traveling is wonderful. I've met many different Pokemon, many different trainers, and now I've met all of you. Well, Blair, I'll be waiting for you at the Pokemon League. 